Hello, in this tutorial we're going to be talking about uploading from Lightroom using the export feature. To find the plugin for that uh, you can go to your Instaproofs account and then under events uh, click on event list and then next to any one of your events you can click on add and then up here next to software plugins you can click on Lightroom and then this will bring you to a link where you can download the plugin from this link here uh, it'll download a zip file that you can install uh, and this second link here is a tutorial on how to get that installed into your Lightroom okay we'll pull up Lightroom here and as you can see I'm using Lightroom 5 and this uh, tutorial will work with uh, with any version of Lightroom uh, our plugin will work with any of those and basically I've got uh, a few images here to upload I've got some uh, basketball pictures I want to upload to my account and to do that uh, we would uh, select that folder here and then come in here and select all of these images with a control A on the uh, on a PC or command A with a Mac and then right down here is an export button and click on that that'll pull up our Instaproofs dialog and I'm already logged in here with my username and password and this is the same username and password that you log into your regular Instaproofs account and then uh, we've got a few options here you can uh, adjust some settings here the color space generally SR sRGB is uh, the way to go with that uh, if you want to make any adjustments to the sizes of the images that you're uploading you can do that with the resize uh, but today I want to just go with the, the size images that, uh, that I've got already. I don't want to make any adjustments to that. Also, you can rename the files if you want to. And there's, there's a number of uh, custom settings here to uh, adjust the renaming. And you can play with that and see if that fits what you want to do. But I want to stay with the original file names that I have. So down in this area here, I'll need to select an event to upload to and I'm going to upload those to sports images and then I need to make sure to choose a category uh, and for this uh, for these few uh, images that I have I'm going to upload to a category I've already created on the uh, on my Instaproofs page uh, called hoops photos now a little later we'll show you how to uh, automatically create the categories from folders so if you've got a wedding event or something similar where you've got a number of different folders uh, you don't have to pre create your category you can allow Instaproofs to do that for you the Instaproofs plugin and then next down here we'll need to choose a price template and I'll choose print prices there and then we'll export and then up here in the left hand corner you can see the dialog and how that uh, how that's proceeding I've got one of five uploading at this time and we'll give that a few seconds to uh, to get uploaded there okay the images have uploaded and I get this box that comes up that tells me that they're uploaded and uh, they should be available on our storefront here this says approximately one minute so I'll say OK and I'll pull up my storefront actually my uh, admin area events event list and you can see here that uh, the images are currently processing and that'll take just a few minutes to uh, to process into the system now that the images are processed I can uh, check on that I put those in the sports images event and go to manage I can see that I've got five images in the hoops photos category name that I uploaded to category uh, and I'll go to manage here there's my five images and I'll take a look at uh, the thumbnails here by going to the grid view and there they are there okay so that is uh, uploading just uh, loose images or just one folders worth if you want to upload um, 
uh, multiple folders. I'll come over here and I've got uh, folder 2 selected here. And within folder 2 I've got a folder called basketball, one called fans, and one called wrestling. So what we'll do is I want to upload all those. So each of those folders, or excuse me, each of those images are showing here. So again, I will uh, control A to select all of those. And that's selecting everything in each folder by doing that. And then I'll export again. Same settings. I'm all set up uh, with my username and password. Everything's going to stay the same there. I need to select my event. We're going to put that in sports images again. And this time I want to automatically create categories from folders. Select my price template and export. We'll give that a few minutes to, uh, to upload. Now that those are done uploading, I get my box here again that tells me that they're uploaded. My 11 images should, uh, should be all uploaded. And so we'll say OK. We'll go back and pull up our event under events and event list. They are processing right now. I'll just show you the folders that it created. We'll go to manage next to sports images, which is where we uploaded that. And you'll see that now we've got three new categories that uh, the Lightroom uh, plugin uploaded for us or created for us, basketball, fans, and wrestling. And each one of them has the, the correct number of images that I uploaded. So. Uh, that's pretty much it for the Lightroom uploader. If you have any questions, you can contact us at support at instaproofs.com. We'd be happy to help you out. Thank you very much.